So, firstly, let me introduce myself. I'm Thiago, I'm from Brazil, I'm 27 years old, and I have some background in cybersecurity with a post degree in offensive cybersecurity. I'm currently a cybersecurity specialist at Acadia TI, where I work now. So, I'm a graduate teacher in cybersecurity as well, as counsel CND, CH, SCSS, SCS, CPA instructor, and computer instructor. Right, so I am a passion. I am passionate about learning new technologies. Always interested in learning more and improve myself. So I sign up for this fantastic course to learn more about with that methodology and the ones that caught my attention. It was exciting to discover more about the skills and talent and the professional with that requires. So it's good for career and job opportunities in this field. So I am a scout instructor as I teach some certification, as I mentioned previously. I always dreamed of the opportunity to take the exam. And the KDTA where I work is as a council partner training. And a day in a time it was needed one more recipient instructor. It made sense to all parties. And now I'm here an recipient instructor and I well prepared new recipients and LPTs in the world. One of them works in the area, and the other has never worked with pen test. Both got the step pens and LPT exam, LPT ex, uh, uh, certifications. My experience made it easy to me. Compared to real situations, the mindset of the exam could be hard to some people who are not familiar with it. So I find I found the exam a little tiredness. It's a tiresome, a tiring, exhaust exam, but it's a fantastic exam. So I really liked it. What the realistic situation, methodological approach, because we can get an idea about how the things happen in the real world and get familiar with different kind of systems like industrial network, IoT network, pivoting, double pivoting, Active Directory environment. And finally, the way all the things demonstrated in the course was noted on the exam and in the real world. CPENT teaches me more than unusual penetration topics. It covers that we need to clarify to our client the importance to have a clear understanding of what the client, what the customer needs to and how I help to customer to achieve its goal. The CPENTS cover the identification of who find will impact an organization. CPENTS provides me more contact and job opportunities around the world. So job opportunities, contacts, it's all the increase, all the fantastic thing in a CPENTS program and all the benefits that uh, I got with CPENTS exam. So I can say about the scope of the program, it's the largest one. And if I can compare with another, uh, the CPENT is the, the best because we have uh, uh, IoT area, uh, binaries area, uh, Active Directory, uh, with a deep understanding, with a, a good contact in, in its material, and they find it's good because we have it to the some, lab, some labs and we can put all the content that we learn in the course in a practice. So I can say about number and kinds of exam. So it's a little different the purpose of both. So CH is about ethical hacker skills and CPENT is only for pen testing skills. So when we are talking about T8, we are talking about pen tests that is a, a skills that the ethical hacker need to know to perform your ability and the ethical hacker can do a lot of things. And see pen the exam, it was about the only pen test. So how can I create an excellent or I can deliver or provide to my client uh, an excellent finds, an excellent uh, 
uh, report and so on in a professional way. So when I did the C8, I learned a lot. And when I go to Cpent, I can I can use all the contents that I learned on C8 and uh, improve my my skills and do the Cpent exam in an easy way because the C8 was so good to me because provides me all the bases, all the fundamentals that I needed. Great question. So, uh, adapt my chains of thoughts brought to specific talents. It was a, a difficult part, but I learned and I developed my skills, I, de I developed my thoughts. It was fantastic and I don't find any issues. And it was amazing when I practice in cyber range the environment because I can see the same environment as we can see in a, in exam and uh, an idea what we can find in uh, real life. So it was fantastic because we have a different uh, ranges, uh, one range that we can use not only about uh, like uh, Active Directory and I will just explore Active Directory, but we need to use another things like if you vote to uh, compromise another server in this range and so on. So it was fantastic. All the things that I used on the exam and the resource that as council provides me, it was fantastic. So to be true, I don't utilize, I don't use a labs. I just use the cyber range in the exam process and the preparement. Not really. Because of my background, where I can see it can be challenging for professionals with less time in the area. But it's not totally true or wrong. <laughs> so, depends on the instructor, the way the instructor gives the class. One professional that have no much time or have no much knowledge in this area, has possibility to have a good note to have a LPT. <laughs> That's great. As I started studying before the course online, and after I started, I relied on its material and the previous one I already had. So that's great uh, material, but when I learned before, it was uh, so it was sufficient to understand a uh, different, a lot of concepts, a lot of contents, and to make this exam easy to me. So if you will think in a real world scenario, I think that we have a command and control quantity. It will be a good increase in our CPAN material.